Hi, and welcome to this Tempest University training video of submitting timesheets in Tempest Resource. I'm your host, Beth Rose Paul, Implementation Specialist at ProSymmetry. Today we'll be talking about submitting timesheets and how they're a way for you to track actual hours on a project and allows you to input those hours for individual projects over days, weeks, or months. We'll talk about the functionality as we work through submitting a timesheet today. To start, we'll head to the Tempest Resource home screen and select My Timesheets. From there, we'll automatically be brought to the timesheets period with any planned allocation displayed on the timesheet automatically. Data can then be entered into the white daily cells on the timesheet. You'll notice in the right hand corner that there is an option for grid options within a particular timesheet. You can group by period, which allows you to enter in data by period. You can add in totals, which allows you to see the totals of each row. You can also choose to add in planned allocations to see how much time was allocated for you on that particular assignment for this period to see if the hours put in match up. These are all dependent on if these are turned on within your admin settings. So any questions surrounding that, please feel free to reach out to your Tempest admin. There's also a self service of adding assignments here as well. So if this is enabled by your Tempest admin, you're able to go ahead and search by project or task in the search bar at the top, or you can choose from the tasks as well as the projects down below to be able to add those to your timesheet. Once you've selected them, you can hit apply. They will then get automatically added to your timesheet as well. An important thing to note is that if this say this assignment's already on your timesheet. When we go in to add that assignment, it won't be listed as an option here for us to add in as well. So just something to keep in mind. If you've added any assignments to your timesheet and you didn't mean to or you need to remove them, the ellipses next to the assignment name will allow you to go in and hit that remove button to delete that from your timesheet. You can also add notes through that same ellipses. So if you wanted to make a note of anything that you'd worked on within that project during this period, you could enter that in there. Once you've saved that, the notes will then be added to your timesheet for your approval to take a look at. You can also copy data from a previous timesheet. So let's say we've submitted this timesheet. We've gone ahead and said, yep, that works. We're good to go. But the following week, or following weeks later, we want to say, oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and copy that prior information. We'll add that into our timesheet to save us the time because we did the exact same thing this week as well. There's going to be this little copy button right next to submit that you can click. It'll bring that timesheet period data over. You can also toggle between periods like I've done at the top. So if we wanted to go back and see any previous timesheets that we've entered, um, Maybe go ahead and add in data to past timesheets as well. We have the ability to do that here. You can also retract any timesheets if there was anything. Um, if it's still if it's unapproved, you have the ability to retract that. So you can go in and enter in additional data as needed. Um, otherwise, once you feel that you've entered in all the information that you need to for a particular timesheet, you hit that submit that green submit timesheet button at the top that just asks you again, hey, you're going to submit this to your timesheet. Approver for approval. Are you good to do that? You're going to say yes. It that becomes a read only version for you to go back and look at as needed. Um, and again, if you never need to make changes, you can retract that. Within a project as well as being able to make notes on individual assignments, you can also just make an overall comment. So something you just want to share with your approver, you can enter in that in up at the top here. And then there's also different views of the timesheets as well. So if you wanted to look at this in more of a grouped version, so you want to see each of your projects and then have the tasks sort of rolled up within them, you can look at that group view. You'll also have that by period view, which is your default view. You can look at it in this in more of a consolidated view. So if you wanted to go and enter in time for multiple timesheets, over different periods, you can look at the consolidated view and then all timesheets allows you to see any timesheets that have been submitted so far, what their status is, if they're waiting on approval, if they've been archived, how much time was added to them and then the date range as well as the period name. And that is submitting timesheets in Tempest resource. If you have any questions, please feel free, feel free to reach out to your Tempest admin. Thanks for watching.